take the hub cap off, use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pop that off. Use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Pull the wheel off. Now I'm gonna take the caliper off with the bracket. Use a 18 millimeter socket and just take the bracket bolts off. Now grab the caliper and bracket, slide it off. You use a brake caliper hanger tool and hang the caliper so there's no tension on the brake hose. Now you want to take the rotor off. You could take a hammer and give it a tap on these areas. Just be careful of the studs. And if you have a threaded bolt that will thread into those holes, you can try that and just inch them in a little bit at a time. Just try to slide this off. I'll just hit it from the back side a little bit. And slide that off. You can take a pry bar and just pry down on the parking brake shoe. Take it off that clip down below. And you can pry up top as well. Or just push it forward off that. And it just slides right out. Take this clip off, use an eight millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Take that off. Slide the shoes over. We'll start this up top first. Slide that on. And just try to spread this. Might have to use a pry bar. You could use two pry bars and try to spread it apart as well. Once you get it started though, it should be good. And it's got to line up in the slot. Slide this down. Now take the clip that matches and slide it in position. Get the bolt started. It's a little tricky to get in here. And tighten the bolt down. Make sure the clip is lined up correctly. Just snug it down. Then take the shoe, just give it a little tap and make sure that's even at the top. Slide it on. You might have to adjust the parking brake shoes. You might have to turn that adjuster in right there. You can use a pry bar or a screwdriver to do that. And just make sure the shoes are not rubbing on the rotor too much. Should just be a light drag. That's good. Take the brake caliper off the hanger. With the pads separated, slide it over the rotor. And slide that on. Take the bolts, get those started. Now we'll torque these bolts to 148 foot-pounds. Put the wheel back on. And the lug nuts. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Let's just go around again, double check. Take the hub cap on the back side, you should be able to see where the valve stem is supposed to go. So line that up with the valve stem, pop it back in place. After you're done, you wanna make sure you pump the brake pedal. There's gonna be an air gap between the brake caliper piston and the brake pads. That's good. And then under the hood, you wanna check the brake fluid level and adjust accordingly.